Hi guys, today we're gonna be unboxing a pair of Versace underwear and I'll talk you through a few steps um, to tell you how to tell if your Versace's are real and how to keep an eye out for fake Versace's. So, first thing you wanna do with any Versace product is take a look at the packaging. Um, generally, fake packaging, um, it, what I've seen a lot is they come in white boxes with white, um, sorry, with black letters Printed. So Versace would be printed on here. Now this box here, um, the Versace written there is in gold and it's actually etched in there. You know, you can actually feel the letters on there. It's not printed on. So definitely want to take a look at their packaging. Versace always tends to go out nice with the packaging. Um, as you can see, we've got a purpley, you know, with gold lettering on here. And again, you can feel, you know, all, all the lettering there. So keep an eye out for the packaging. Um, so let's go ahead and open the underwear. Now with any Versace product, once you've got it in your hand, it should feel luxurious. You know, Versace's products that always feel nice. Um, so, you know, if you've got a pair of, you know, whatever it may be, that's Versace, you want to feel it, make sure it feels nice. Uh, Versace products always feel luxurious. They do go out with the quality of the products. Um, what you want to take a look, look out for on the physical side of any Versace product is things like the stitch work. As you can see the stitch work on there, it's beautifully done. You know, um, there's no stray pieces of string or anything like that, even on the inside. Um, there's no stray pieces of string at all. You know, they are very articulate when it comes to their stitch work. Everything is done precisely look at that it's just the stitching on there is just done perfectly like this is a top that i've got from i think topman river island and as you can see the stray pieces of string there and that's just how i bought it you know uh, but versace you'll never find anything like that with their stitch work so that's that's a few things that you want to look out for and the Medusa head itself, it should look something like that. And you can Google that image, um, compare it to the website. So if you ever see a pair of Versace's you know, on sale, you want to make sure that the Medusa looks good. I've seen a lot of um, fakes out there where the Medusa looks you know, like something like a five-year-old daughter would have you know, um, drawn you know, with a pencil or something. So you want to take a look at the Medusa, um, make sure that that's all up to scratch it, you know, it shouldn't be any, um, you know, any dodgy looking Medusa heads on there, you know, you, you'll know when you see it, so that's one thing you want to look out for, the Medusa head should look good, um, shouldn't be any stitch work over the Medusa, I've seen a pair of um, swimming shorts, which I can cover in another video, um, I've seen a pair of swimming shorts where this stitching, this stitching right here has gone over the Medusa sign right there, so, Keep an eye out for things like that. Now, on the inside um, of, in this case, Versace underwear, it will say Versace and it will say underwear. Um, I've seen some products where it says Versace jeans, culture, or Gianni Versace. Versace don't make their underwear like that anymore. It would generally say Versace underwear. Um, one thing you want to look out for with the underwear in general, whether it's boxes, briefs, um, swim shorts. Um, say for example, you've got the waistband here. Um, we've got black and gold. <coughs> Excuse me, we've got black and gold as you can see. Um, when you look at it on the inside, it should be gold and black. So it should just be inverted colors from what's on the outside. So sometimes on the outside it will be white and gold. On the inside it should be gold and white. Okay, so you want to keep an eye out for that. There's a lot of fakes out there where it will just be, you know, completely black on this side or completely white on this side. And Versace don't make their underwear or the swim shots like that. So you want to keep an eye out for something like that. Um, now, next thing, a lot of people will say the CLG, but we'll get to that later. Um, next thing you want to take a look at with Versace products is this number right here. Now, that's the Italian sizing. Number four for medium, I think generally it starts from number three, four, five, six, small, medium, large, etc. Um, Versace products, because 
Um, I mean, Versace is Italian, of course. They always go off the uh, Italian size. And so you will never see a Versace product, whether it's pants, um, underwear, swim shirts. You will never see a Versace product with American size. And it will be with Italian size. And so if you purchase a pair of swim shorts, a pair of underwear, and it says S for small or M for medium, etc., it's a fake. You know, Versace don't do it like that. It should be numbered like this. Um, now the next thing you want to make sure with Versace products is that it's made in Italy. Now, as you can see there, it does say made in Italy right there. Versace products are only made in Italy. They're never made anywhere else. If you see and it says it's made in China, made in Taiwan, made in America, it is definitely a fake. So you want to make sure all um, Versace products are made in Italy, otherwise it is definitely a fake. And um, the last thing you want to take a look at is the CLG. Um, now the CLG is a number that you'll find on the tag. Um, generally in Versace underwear in this case or swim shorts, there's two tags like this on the inside. Um, there should be a CLG number on there. So check everything else first. If all of that checks out, the CLG is the last thing to check. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to go on to the 30 logo website so you can go on Versace.com and then authenticate your product or just that website right there 30 logo.com and put in that CLG number now the reason why I say this is the last thing you need to check is because the um, the website will make you answer a few questions and one of the questions on there is have you bought this product now if you haven't bought the product it will not authenticate your product so um that's the last thing you want to check now once you've answered them questions as long as you've got the product that checks out you'll get an email just confirming that it is authentic so um, that's the last thing you want to check so like i said packaging first then you want to check the quality of the item, how it feels, how it looks, stitching, the Medusa head, and it, in this case, underwear, you want to check the inverted colors, make sure that it is inverted and nothing else. Um, check the sizing, make sure that it's an Italian sizing and not American, you know, European sizing. And sorry, when I say European, I mean English sizing, not Italian, of course, it's got to be an Italian sizing. And then you want to make sure it's made in Italy. And then you want to check the CLG on their website. That's versace.studylogo.com. Or if you just go on versace.com, authenticate your product, you can do that in there. You'll get an email back confirming that your product is authentic. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. Bye now.